We are facing grand challenges today, uh, climate change, poverty, etc. Still, you are optimistic. Why? I'm optimistic because technology is advancing so rapidly that we'll start solving some of these problems. We'll start solving the problems of energy, of food, hunger. And once we start having, you know, uh, being able to generate clean energy, solar or others, the problem of global warming will become much less. Not to say that we're going to clean everything up, but we'll have technological solutions to the world's problems. And then the challenge becomes implementing them, which is much easier than not having a solution at all. You're saying that our own children, that they will be smarter than, than we are. How, how, how is that possible? Our children already are smarter than we are. In our days, the knowledge we had was all what we gained from our books, from our parents, from our teachers, from our preachers. That's it, right? Our children right now are connected not only to each other, but to the rest of the world. They're not reliant upon their parents anymore. They're a lot more outgoing, they're a lot more social, they're more, a lot more connected, and they know the way to get information from when they need it. So this is what's changing the world. I mean, if you look at what's happening in the Middle East, uprisings, if you look at how India and China are changing, if you look at Europe, okay, the younger generation is much different than the older generation, which is a good thing. Because when the entire world is connected over the next few years or so, which it will be, we'll have a chance to uplift the whole of humanity. I'm, I'm optimistic that a connected world, more education, will lead to a better world. So the next generation is our big hope for the future. Absolutely. The next generation is our big hope. The next generation are going to be the great entrepreneurs who implement solutions to do good for the world. They're a lot more socially responsible than we were. They care about each other. They care about the rest of the world. So I'm counting on them <laughs> to save me. <laughs> So finally, um, how do you define innovation? To me, innovation starts with big ideas and the challenge is to implement big ideas into big solutions which do good for the world. Right. It's one thing to just you know, take, some, take, an, uh, take uh, an idea, turn it into invention. It's another thing to get the invention to the people who need it. Once you do that, once the idea reaches the people who need it, to whom it'll do good, that's when you have innovation. So make it happen. <laughs>